Bites. Welcome to Siri Bites and the Land of Books. I'm Julia, and this is my reading book board. Well, you might ask, why is a book board useful? Well, have you ever found yourself in that situation where you feel bored and you want to read a book, but there's no books to read because you finished all of them, so you end up reading the same book again? Well, I've been in that situation more than once. And here's the solution. I'm going to be giving one book every single day. Either it's fantasy, thrilling adventures, sci-fi, or even nonfiction, no matter what it is. I'm going to rate and summarize a book that I thought went to my heart and made me dive into the adventure itself. Well, hold your hats, everyone, because we're diving in. Behold, the mastermind behind the spellbinding tale of Knox and Ivory, the one and only Mindy Arnett, presents Riven. This book is a breathtaking fantasy that has a touch of romance, lingers with magic and thrilling adventures, full of drama. I mean, who doesn't like drama? This book made me literally go into the story itself. It made me feel as if it touched my heart and came right out. After I was done, I couldn't stop. I felt as if it has to keep going on and on because the story was that great. I can read this book five times in even trillion, billion times, and it still wouldn't be boring. Mars Darkstream wants out. Out from the under the thumb of Una, the crime boss who pulled him off the streets as a child and trained him as an assassin. Out from the island country of Riven, where magic in the form of dangerous material called ice. Mars is a secret attempt. A person born with the ability to channel the magic that flows beneath Riven. And while his power gives him the abilities useful to an assassin, it also makes him a target. And when his last mission ended in tragedy, Mars finally decided it's time to escape to the mainland. No magic, no history, a new life on its own. But Una has other ideas. If Mars wants his freedom, he's going to have to perform a final job, protecting Fura Torwald, the heir of the rich and powerful Torwald kin and the daughter of the last man Mars was sent to kill, and to steal from her a mysterious object, known only as a primer. Mars has no interest in Fura or whatever the primer is, nor in River's corrupt and op oppressive politics. He just wants to do his job and get out. But as Mars comes to know more about Fura and the primer, the true nature of the power of Riven, he realizes that he will soon have to take a side in a fight he has avoided his entire life. Woodside, however, he doesn't know yet. This book is a heart-taking, a sad, thrilling, and amazing book. He tries to escape this world, but she, see, wants to change it forever. I'm going to be giving books every single day. These amazing books. And you won't be bored ever again. And I know that one day, every single person out there, no matter if they're a book lover or not a book lover, they'll find a book that makes them dive into the story and a book that they can re read however they want, how many times they want, and they still won't get bored. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can get daily notifications about the book of the day. So stay updated. Well, bye. See you tomorrow.